Hey guys, today's the day, finally, which I have been talking about for several years now. I'm eventually going to resplit my town. Right now it looks like this. You can see it's only a tiny little slit left from my previous splits. And um, yeah, today I'm going to redo it to the entire length of my tongue, well, or at least as far as possible. I will have to cut away my frenulum first. As you can see, it is attached now really far towards the tip of my tongue from the last splits, and I will do a frenulectomy first, remove the frenulum, uh, then I'm going to re-split my tongue. <sighs> Unfortunately I'm not able to fix a camera somewhere in here so I won't be able to film the actual procedure. I won't be having a free hand of course and I'm, I'll be wearing sterile gloves so I can't be filming myself but I'm certainly going to post an aftershot you will see how my freshly done tongue shall look like then. So here you can see all the stuff which I need to properly split my tongue. We have a scalpel of course to perform the cut which is a, steril a pre-sterilized um, disposable item. Marker pens. This is a, a fresh and yet unused uh, silver nitrate pen to stop the bleeding and to serve as an antiseptic to prevent infection of the fresh wound edges. Two hemostat clamps um, which uh, will control the bleeding during the procedure, serve as guides so the cut will be straight and um, they will also simply hold my tongue. Of course all the metal instruments will be properly sterilized in the autoclave before I begin. Here we have an antibacterial or antiseptic mouthwash, um, chemical disinfectants for the hands and skin, sterile surgical gloves, uh, sterilized um, gauze, um, some more chemical disinfectants, painkillers, a local anesthetic uh, cream for the, uh, for the post procedural. Okay, time. so here I am with a freshly split tongue. As you can hear, my speech is surprisingly clear. I have a slight lisp. I don't know if you noticed that, but it um, the, it doesn't hurt at all. The pain during the procedure was neg neglectable. So let me show what it looks like now. As you can see, due to the silver nitrate, it doesn't bleed at all. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> and it's also straight. I just need to train the halves to uh, really move them independently because um, the right half um, just doesn't move as quickly as the left one. That's why it looks a bit crooked now, but <laughs> it's due to the uh, individual movement of the tongue half, tongue's half. Can't do any tricks yet. <laughs> well, this will take some practice. But I'm happy now. I have a split tongue again. Hope it won't regrow too much. I will do my best to prevent it. Cheers. See you guys. Hey guys. It's the day after. Some good 15 hours since the split. As you can hear, my lisp is somewhat more prominent today, which is because my tongue has really swollen over the night and it's a little bit sore, sore but um, it really isn't that bad. Most of the time, on a pain scale from 1 to 10, it would be a 0 because it really doesn't hurt at all. And at the maximum times, it's no more than a 1 or a 2. It's virtually painless. I'm surprised myself. Um, but due to the swelling, of course, the tongue 
this movement is quite limited so I have these difficulties talking and eating I can only eat soft stuff like pudding and such but I expected that should be over within four days which has been the case the last two times I shall show you what it looks like now don't get scared the white stuff you'll be seeing isn't pus or anything it's dynexane ointment a topical anesthetic which I put on against the soreness As I said, a pretty swollen tongue 15 hours after being split. I'll keep you updated. Cheers guys.